With the lifting of restrictions on competitive team sports, the national women volleyballers were back on the court as they look ahead to competition in 2021. Ken Fuentes has more from the Federation and the team. The national team took advantage of the opportunity to train at the National Cycling Velodrome, and the president of the Trinidad and Tobago Volleyball Federation, Mushtaq Mohammed, was a happy man. This is exciting news that we received last weekend, and we are very much appreciative for this opportunity for the athletes to start training. You know how nervous they are, how lazy they can get, I guess to use for the want of a better word, but no, we are excited about this opportunity to get back on the court. He believes the granting of access to train came at a vital time. Our athletes have been doing all their virtual training, their individual training at home and supervised by our coach virtually. But now that this opportunity presents itself, we, are, we and them are really happy and excited because we are preparing for World Championships qualification, which should have been this year, but is now scheduled, rescheduled. And the earliest time that we anticipated to take place would be in April, March, April next year. For national captain Renelle Ford and her teammates, getting back on the court as a unit was what they have been looking forward to. While they were doing individual training, getting team chemistry is important as they look ahead to the World Championship qualifiers. Volleyball is a, a sport that um, takes a lot of precision and um, we have to be in sync with each other. So, you know, getting back out and being able to um, work together and really just um, get our skills in, at, a, at, a, at a good level as well as um, work together as a, um, in sync as a team is really important for the upcoming season next year. The team is currently on a four-day training schedule in groups of 10. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.